Hello and welcome to the next episode of Beard of Cazarticus. My name is Paul. Uh, today we are going to be finally finishing up this Lego lap table. It's, it's going to be really cool. What I'm going to do today, aside from drink my coffee, mm, that's incredible. So today what we're going to be doing, I am going to take this, which is our almost finished piece. And we are going to be putting my daughter's signature right here. Taping down, I'm going to be carving this out, doing a relief of that. It's, it's, going, to be, uh, it's going to be pretty incredible. We'll be painting this, uh, finishing it off with uh, a good coat of lacquer and and putting in and, and finally gluing the Lego base plates right here so that she has a custom Lego lap table. And this has been a big project, a lot bigger than I thought. I thought one video, and turns out this is the third video. So if you stuck with me this far, thank you very much. As you can see, yeah, my my workspaces, it's it's a wreck. But we're gonna finish this, and then then we're gonna move on to other projects, which are gonna be more fun. Anyway, thank you for sticking through these, and uh, let's finish this thing off. So what I'm going to attempt to do here is to take this flat metal grinding disc and come over here and grind all of the individual lines uh, into the wood. And then once they're done, I can take this off and I will have the outline uh, sketched out basically. And then I can go ahead and, and work on um, the beveling and, and um, shaping the, the uh, geometric shapes the way I want them to. So that's the plan. We'll see what happens. This is when it gets tricky. As you can see, the little pieces are coming out as I grind, and so I have to do it just right so that I don't lose them before I'm ready to. My wife suggested I glued it down. I thought I, I couldn't wrap my mind around how that would work. I realized I should have glued it down. Um, pro tip, always listen to your wife. So now we're going to go ahead and get on to the, the, the carving of the, uh, of the geometric shapes. And, and I had to wait a day to do it. And thankfully, it's, it was only a day because Amazon is pretty awesome. And I'm a Prime subscriber. And so um, what I needed were some, some better bits. And so this is what I got there. Let's take a look. These look like pretty awesome bits. They, they really do. They look like pretty awesome bits. And so... Um, I think the work there, I'm, I'm going to put a link down in the description. Uh, they're $12.99 free shipping. It took 24 hours to get them in the mail, which is phenomenal. So I'm looking forward to using these things and, and uh, really getting this, this done. So let's go ahead and get it done.
right, almost done. Okay, so we, I know it's a little dim over here, it's a little dark, it's like 10 o'clock at night, everybody's asleep, it's about the only time I have to do this sort of thing. Um, so anyway, this is what we're working with. It is, is taped up, We've got the monkey here covered up, and uh, now we are going to spray paint it. So uh, my middle daughter, River, she picked out yellow, shake this thing, get it nice and shaking. I think that's shaking enough. Shook, sh I think it's, it's good. All right, so first things first though, safety. Glasses get fogged up. It's one of the biggest problems. This, this type of mask here, it's gotta get a better one. The glasses just the, the, they get fogged up. I don't know how to fix that, but it's really annoying. See how fogged up that is? It's a mess. And I'm just going to do it out because I can't see what I'm doing. I am by no means a spray paint master. I'm actually pretty new to it like I am to everything. But from what I understand, slow, slow burst keeps it from running, which is of course what I'm going for. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. We're gonna need more than one cook, so. Oh, I'm not very intelligent sometimes. I had that hanging up, drying, Decided I was just going to go ahead and go out of the garage, lifted the garage door, and it was hanging right, right there. Yeah, and the garage door just knocked it down and broke it. So all's not lost. I went ahead and sawed off the handles there so that it's, they're, they're open now. And it's not what I wanted, but it, it's acceptable. Decided to paint it purple. The yellow just wasn't really working. I'll go ahead and show you a little sneak peek of my other daughters. While I was working on that one, I went ahead and finished hers. And uh, it's pretty cool. But that's all you get for now. More later. I'm not 100% happy with this. I'm impatient to start on the monkey, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll do some touch-ups later on. Uh, and we'll, we'll make it pretty later on, but now we're going to start on the, the the monkey which is really what I'm looking forward to so let's remove the tape and see how it fared so my my issue here is picking out the color scheme I know what I want to do with the monkey it's the outlying areas I know what I want to do to trim this again it's the it's the outlying areas here so that's where I'm kind of like eh, I'm not sure mm -hmm. I think, I think I've got it. I think I do. All right, a lot of work to do here. Let's get started.
Okay, so we have reached the end of this project, or just about. We have one more thing to do, and that is to finally turn these into Lego lap tables, which is what we are going to do right now. So we have Lego base plates, and my, my daughter, River, she has decided she wants red, not red, green and blue plates. Uh, that way she can have water and land at the same time. And then my other daughter, Aria, and I've been working on this off camera, she decided that she wants gray. So what we're going to do now is to take this two-part epoxy resin and mix it together and uh, brush it on there and just, uh, I'm going to set something heavy on top of it, maybe clamp it down and let it rest overnight and then we're done. I'm thinking we're going to need this whole thing, but, you know, I've never done this before. So, I don't really know. I'm just going to use the whole thing. Better to have too much than not enough, in my opinion. Oh, this stuff smells... It smells like... Like, like dirty gym socks. Something. Yeah, that's awful. Alright, mix it up. So it's just to mix it for 20 seconds or until it's completely combined. So now this Gorilla Epoxy sets in five minutes. So it gives me five minutes to work. And oh, that smell just got, God, it gets worse. There's some rotten eggs in there. Gorilla armpits, I think. Armpits of gorillas. That's, that's why they call it gorilla glue. I always wondered. And I have no idea what the best way to do this is. I have a feeling this is this is not it. Okay, do the same thing over here. I don't know if I've said this before, but I will definitely reiterate it if I have. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I, I don't. I, this is not an educational show, by the way. Beardicus Articus is just a dude who has a pretty awesome beard, making what he thinks might might or, or might not. There's a good case to be made about the might not, but but. Uh, maybe makes art of some sort. It, it is absolutely wear gloves. That's you know, ah, gloves are important. I have gloves. Why am I not wearing gloves? Because I'm not very intelligent sometimes. You know, I just just kind of go at things half cocked sometimes, and and uh, that's the way I do it. But anyway, as as I was saying, this is not by any means meant to be an educational. YouTube for show. This is just me doing. So, you know, just maybe, maybe don't do things the way I do them. Maybe, maybe find a better way, more intelligent way, you know. But on the other hand, if this inspires, then it's really cool. So, I hope it does. So, this guy right. There, blue, da boo dee da boo die. I'm gonna take my book, uh, Dash Cam Trucker, America Through the Eyes of a Truck Driver by me, Paul Spear. Look it up on Amazon. Get that and stick it right here. It's a heavy book, heavy, heavy. Nothing too fancy. And now we just have to let it rest. So it's been a while and now the, the resin is set. I will remove my shamelessly plugged book, Dashcam Trucker, America Through the Eyes of a Truck Driver, Amazon, paperback and hardback version for sale. Just so you know, I will show you. It's pictures of America from the dash of a semi truck. Really awesome. All right, so now we're officially done. We have our Lego lap table. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not the way I wanted it to be, but it's, it's really, really awesome in its own right. Uh, I think she's going to love it.
So I learned a lot in the process of doing this, and that's, that's kind of the point. You know, my imagination, if I allow it, um, it will just run wild, and I'll think of all sorts of things that I want to do. And, uh, and then oftentimes I'll say, oh, I don't, I don't have the time, or I don't have the tools, or whatever, and I don't do it. And uh, I think whenever I do that, I do myself a disservice. I allow my imagination to kind of be squashed. And uh, it's like a muscle. If you don't use it, it won't grow. It won't, uh, it won't develop. And, and so I, I decided that I'm going to develop my imagination muscle. And so is this perfect? No, it's not perfect. It's far from perfect. But I've learned an awful lot, and, uh, and, and I get something out of that. And, and what do I have to show for it? I have something tangible that my kids can hold on to, that they can look at for years to come and say, my dad made that for me. And that's really cool. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Perfection is, is it's not attainable. Let's not even try. Let's just take what we can think of and, and turn it into something worthwhile. And uh, I really enjoyed that. So I learned a lot today. Thanks so much for hanging around and watching these videos with me. Until next time. Hey, River. Guess what I found for you? You want to see what I made? Yeah. I made it just for you. I love that monkey. You love the monkey? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? There's a heart right there. Yeah. And his paw. Mm hmm. Just for you. Ooh. It's like land, sea. Yep. You can make Lego stuff with it. Mm -hmm. Is it the coolest thing you've ever seen? Do you love it? Yes. Do you want to build on it? Yes. Well, then you should build on it.